I've been taking niacin for a long time, uh, and also fish oil. Uh, could you comment on niacin? It, it did raise my HDL. That may not mean it's any benefit, but I'd uh, just be curious what you think. Well, there's a very large study published last year called the AIM study uh, that looked at the role of um, uh, niacin because it does raise HDL. And it found it had really no impact on heart disease. And, and so this whole aspect of saying if I raise my HDL levels, this is association. People who seem to have less heart attacks have higher HDL levels. Okay, we'll get a drug that will raise HDL levels. Uh, Pfizer spent nearly a billion, oh, no, yeah, probably a billion dollars, and we're almost ready to launch this drug with great fanfare until their last clinical studies showed an increased mortality. Say, so, well, that takes a really good idea and puts it in, in the uh, toilet. So it turns out that raising HDL levels either by drugs or by um, niacin may not have any benefits and may have significant side effects. So. Uh, again, this is the aspect that medicine is just as faddish as the fashion industry. You know, what's hot one week basically gets out of favor the next week. Um, the best way to prevent a heart attack is to reduce inflammation in the arteries. So it's really basically falling, if I want, wanted to sit around raising an HDL level, say, no, I want to lower the levels of inflammation. The levels of cholesterol in the Japanese population are not all that different than those in the American population. Yet their rates of fatal heart attack are one-sixth. Why? Their levels of inflammation are much lower. It's the inflammation that's going to kill you. So rather than raising the HDL levels, uh, it's much easier to take a pill uh, and say, no, I really want to focus on reducing the inflammation levels. Now can be measured, measured with precision, say, and the Japanese are a pretty good population to look at. They live around for a long time. They're not depressed. Uh, so say, that's a good number to shoot for. And the American population is just way over that. So you know, that's why we're more anxious, we're more depressed, uh, we're sicker, we're fatter. It's just because we're more inflamed.